Hello there, my name is The Rook. I used to use the Nistopia anti-cheat emulator to play the Tecmo Super Bowl via the ROM listed here. I was able to connect to other people and uh, play games while they hosted, and everything went perfectly fine. A while back, you guys switched to using a different en emulator. I've recently downloaded that emulator, and I've been trying to use it to connect to others, as well as host games now, and I've been running into the same problem with both those situations. For this reason, I've created this video that you're watching now, and I'm hoping somebody can see what I'm doing wrong in this video so that I can be able to connect to others and or host games. I've never actually hosted before, so if I run into a problem, it's probably going to be in that area, so I'd greatly appreciate some help. But uh, the connecting thing, I've done before, so I'm really not sure what I'm doing wrong now. I'm definitely doing something wrong in both processes, maybe multiple things in the hosting process, but let's get this uh, recording started. Okay. I went and I downloaded the emulator. I'll show you where I've got that downloaded at. This is where I've got the new zip file. I've already extracted the files, as you can see. They are extracted into this folder here. And there is the new emulator. And there is the game. Now I've already mapped out my controller. I have it currently plugged in. Let me bring up the actual emulator and show you that. Everything is mapped out and the controller does work perfectly fine. I also have the paths already marked out correctly. Obviously the paths I have will not be the same ones listed here, but the checkboxes will all be the same. You'd see everything pretty much lines up except for the file paths, which isn't the problem. So let me close this and go into the net play. Now I've already added this before, I'm going to re-add it so you can see how I'm doing that in case that is part of the problem. I go to the exact uh, file path where it is and add that to it. As you can see from the folder here, it's basically the same exact file path and everything. And I launch it. Here's the actual peer-to-peer -peer menu that is outlined in this step here. Now, if I'm trying to connect to somebody like I was the other day, I put the IP they gave me here and I hit connect. If I'm trying to host myself, I go into here, I get my IP, and I put that into the peer-to-peer -peer menu, and I hit uh, New Game. Now, this is what I'm doing when I use the uh, Discord to find some people and they agree to play with me. But uh, this is where things go wrong. Once I've already hit New Game or Connect, I never get past this. There's no connection request, connection establish. There's nothing. And I've noticed something odd. If I click Ready, it now says No Game Selected. Even though you clearly saw me hit uh, and launch this earlier. So I'm really not sure what I'm doing wrong. Now I did set up some port forwarding for hosting. So maybe I have a problem in there as well for the hosting process. So I'm going to record that now. Uh, my problem with connecting to others is somewhere in the steps earlier. If you can point out to me, I'd really appreciate it. But in terms of the port forwarding, let's go over that part now. I never get to connection confirmed. I never get to connection request, and that ultimately results in my earlier problem. In terms of the port forwarding, I believe my exact router actually isn't listed here. I had to go down into where I've got the router set up in my house and figure out the IP as well as the password for it. I've already logged into it here, 
and this is the port forwarding. I had this set up earlier. Let's see if my IP has changed or anything. Let me do IP config in here again just in case. I always use this to find out my exact IP. Okay, where's my current IP address on there? All right. Hmm. That might be part of my problem. My IP may be changing constantly. If someone knows how to get that fixed, that'd be great. But basically, I take this thing. Let me get that highlighted in on there. All right, once that's actually copied in the clipboard, I go into the port forwarding. I create that here. OK, good, it did copy that correctly. And I set the port. I hit both. I create it with the, or any of these names. I've tried each one. That does not make a difference, of course. And I've enabled it, and I'd hit Apply. Then I would go to the TPC site and find my exact IP. Basically, I hit Refresh, and it doesn't change here. It only changes on the IP config menu. Again, a way of making it so it stops changing here would be great. That might be part of my hosting problem. At any rate, I go into here, I hit connect, I launch it, I put my IP in here as opposed to someone else's, I hit new game, uh, sometimes this seems to happen, I might need to restart it. That's not the actual problem I have, but it's something that comes up occasionally. And the way I've gotten around that is just relaunching. I give my IP to another person, they put it into the thing like this, as well as I put it in. I hit new game, they hit connect, they try to connect to me, and nothing ever happens past this point. You get the same problem ultimately of never seeing the connection confirmed, never seeing the connection request, and or the connection actually happening at all. This whole window ultimately stays blank. And once again, if I click here, it says no game selected, and yet I'm fairly certain I selected that thing earlier. Maybe what I'm doing has nothing to do with that. Maybe selecting it here versus not selecting it here is not part of my problem. I'm not sure. But it's obvious I'm doing something wrong since things were working with the old emulator and they're not working with the new one. So if somebody can point out to me what my problems are connecting to others and having others connect to me. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for your time.